Now to a story that has been trending online all day. Dozens of missing children rescued in Georgia during a sweeping sex trafficking bust. This was a two-week operation that netted a handful of arrests. Law enforcement agencies here in Houston are all too familiar with human trafficking. It is a problem that they've been targeting for years. And tonight, police say the Georgia operation is a reminder for parents to be aware of their children's activities especially online. Vincent Crivelli is live in Southwest Houston tonight with this very important message. Vincent? Chris, that's right. Authorities say that parents need to know with the coronavirus pandemic, children are spending more time online and human trafficking is up. 39 children located and safe after an operation led by the U.S. Marshals in Georgia. First of all, it's great news, but it's also deeply disturbing that this can still happen. Founder of Justice for Children and former Harris County Chief Prosecutor Randy Burton. Sex trafficking like that happening in Houston? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, as a matter of fact, uh, we're considered one of the largest hubs. And he's sounding the alarm for parents. He says they need to monitor their children's activity online to prevent human trafficking. We've actually had a 19 percent increase in human trafficking cases of children here in my agency. Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen says due to the coronavirus pandemic, children are spending more time online, which is a predator's paradise. If a parent finds something suspicious, what action should they take? Well, first of all, they should try to document everything. And if it does rise to the level of potential criminality, contact law enforcement. And he says parents need to vet who their children are spending time with, as well as keep an open line of communication. They have to be engaged. They have to have that talk with their children. And Burton went on to say that parents need to remember to be parents, not necessarily friends of their children. Reporting live from the Children's Assessment Center, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.